Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turner, speaking to Johannes and Bradley about Vikings Valhalla, which is dropping on Netflix February 25th. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank Peter. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Johannes, it's this is a special show. You watch the show. There's so much happening in the show. It's breathtaking aesthetic wise. The dialogue between characters is so powerful. It's got a lot of action. I'm curious when you start noticing that when you're working on a show like this, is it early on on set, Johannes? Well, I noticed it reading the script. Uh, Cause sometimes you'll read a script and you go like, well, yes, there's possibilities here. We can make this work. But in this case, you read it and you go like, holy shit, I hope we can, uh, I hope we can deliver this because this is awesome. So yeah, that, yeah. that was a good sign. And then we just got onto set uh, with the, the crew that's a well-oiled machine. It's been working on the old show for years. And, and then we were just off to the races. It was an, an enjoyable ride. Absolutely. And Bradley, it's interesting because, you know, this show, you know, is set, you know, over 100 years later. Uh, since like the original Viking show. So it's kind of a, a world that people are familiar with a little bit, but a lot of new characters, a lot of new storylines. I'm curious as an actor, Bradley, what's that mindset like showing up to a new show of new characters, but is in like an existing universe that people might be familiar with? Yeah, well, as you say, you know, it is it is a known world to some extent, but uh, we are 100 years later. So uh, in another way, it's a completely different world. Uh, we do revisit Katagat, I can tell you that, in the first season, and we see how Katagat has grown. Uh, it's almost a metropolis in comparison to what we've seen before. It's uh, a melting pot of different cultures. The world has become a much smaller place, um, uh, you know, uh, and um, there's, a, there's a lot more uh, empire to be conquered now for, for the Vikings. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just a, an interesting interesting meld now to see how they uh, they have developed over the last hundred years and johannes i mean i'm sure it hits you today because you're talking to all these outlets you're doing press but like is it starting to officially like hit you that the show is finally coming out i mean the trailer gets dropped and everything people are going to be able to see it. people have been talking about this for a while i'm just wondering what's going for your mind these days where it's like calm before the storm it's coming out pretty soon uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, we've been waiting for a long time. It's, it's been a while since we filmed uh, season one. And uh, yeah, it, so uh, it's really exciting it, to, to be able to, to share it with anyone who, anyone who wants to see it is going to be available worldwide, which is kind of uh, <laughs> scary and intimidating, yeah. but also I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm proud of the show and I can't wait for people to see it. Bradley, simple question, but a royal question. What's it like playing a king? And what's it like playing a king in the world of Vikings Valhalla? Yeah, it's pretty much, you know, it's up there. It really is. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's you know, imagine how you might think it feels and then sort of times it by a hundred, you know. Yeah. You walk yeah. onto set, you've got the costume, you've got the hair, you've got, you know, the, the hordes behind you. You've got uh, just uh, an amazing set of, of, of scripts to be able to portray it's uh, yeah it's a dream come true absolutely and Johannes before we wrap up quickly I started the interview I told you about all the elements I loved about the show how it looked the action the dialogue is there one that kind of stands out for you like, working on this show that you think was really powerful out of the three I mentioned well for me it's the the twists and turns there there's a lot of them and yeah. they are good ones I really enjoy the twists and the turns in absolutely the story. Oh, for sure. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. People are going to be able to see it February 25th. Vikings Valhalla dropping worldwide on Netflix. Thank you both for your time, gentlemen. Seriously. Thank you, Petey. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.